haunted mansion, a shadowed man, a young boy's fate. He must endure an ancient curse. He must solve riddles, navigate alternate dimensions, and fight the purest form of evil. Follow Kyler in Bobo's Phantasmal Adventure. Hey guys, Under Drummer here. Right about now you're probably asking yourself, what the hell did I just watch? That was a trailer for a video game I made. I was thinking about starting a new series where I talk about and play through games that I've created. For whatever reason, some of these games that I've created are done in really obscure platforms. Like for example, this first game that I wanted to talk about and play through with you was built and designed in PowerPoint. I know, what the hell was I thinking? I'm sure part of the problem is that I've never invested enough time to fully grasp a coding language or an IDE enough to build a game to completion. But that's not fully true either. I've, I've done an HTML5 game. It was coded using something called Monkey, which I'm sure most people have never heard of. But I've always had the desire and the drive to create games, even board games. I don't know that I'll showcase any board games in this series, but it's still a goal of mine to create, design, and finish a fully working video game, one that favors a more popular format. This first one, called Bobo's Phantasmal Adventure, my brother was kind enough to do the game cover art for me. I think he did a good job. It really captures that 1980-1990 uh, point-and-click adventure game style. Once we go through and play the game, you can come back and look at how well he did. There's, there's so much that's in the game that is represented here on the cover. I'm not an artist, so I just, just uh, used images from, from wherever I could get them and uh, used a website called freesound.org for the sounds, or made my own sounds. And I can't really post this to a, a site for people to play. The best I can do to share it is record me playing through it uh, with commentary, and hopefully it's interesting. So without further ado, here we go, Bobo's Phantasmal Adventure. That's my voice there, just modified with some effects and filters. That uh, Under Drummer logo intro there that you saw, I used that for my YouTube channel for a while. And there's actually supposed to be some white zombie music playing right here, but it's not working. Now, I remember this uh, triangle has something to do with the game, but I don't recall exactly what. Let's go to help. Hovering over these creates a little wind sound. Here's the whole help page I designed. Uh, the object of the game is to escape the haunted house alive. Run your mouse pointer over objects in the scene. Use the buttons on each new screen to decide where to go. Click here to see what each basic button does. You will hear a chime sound when you find a clue. Sometimes you will need to write certain clues down. To leave the game at any time, press escape. Good luck. Back to the game. Let's click here and see if this works. Oh, it actually worked. Enter door left. Enter door right. Okay, pretty self-explanatory here. Take the stairs button. We don't need a button to take stairs. Speak with a character, right? And let's click on running the game. Bobo's Phantasmal Adventure may run slower incorrectly on your computer. As the designer, I want you, the user, to have the gaming experience I intended. Free from glitches or bugs. Then maybe I shouldn't have designed the game on PowerPoint. <laughs> Here are a few tips that may help. Download the game folder to your hard drive. It will always play slower from the disk drive. Blah, blah, blah. If you die several times on the same puzzle, the graphics may not display correctly. Well, that's a major problem, especially in a video game where the player must die to learn. Click on the hand icon at the bottom right for a link that may help you to run the game as intended. This takes you to soniacoleman.com tutorial, so let's not do that. And uh, back to the game. Okay, now the picture changed. Right, play the game. Well, at least the music's working. 
Here, anyways. We're in the bedroom. Huh? What the? You awake in a strange bedroom in a strange house. It's cold in this room, really cold. You notice the window is open and a foul smell is coming from outside. You can hear footsteps outside the bedroom door. Well, who's outside? Let's go look. <laughs> Hallway. You leave the bedroom and now stand in a decorative hall area. There are many elaborate paintings and statues here. You feel like the eyes of the Julius Caesar bust are staring right at you. Creepy! Okay. We can click there, we can click there. Let's try this. Why, Kyler? Why? <laughs> that was there just to scare the shit out of my nephew. Alright, what does this do? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was trying to scare the shit out of my 10 year old nephew. What an awesome uncle! Ooh, the eyes look funny. Bust. You hear the door to your left unlock. Okay. Well, let's go to the door to the left. Oh, we have to use these. That's right. You suddenly feel very claustrophobic. Uh, trap room. And the first death scream, of which there are many. As the heavy metal walls begin to crush your body, your last thoughts are of this horrible house, and that now you will never leave it. Well, that's cool. The skull fades. Death. All right, start from the hallway. All right, so we need a code of some kind. I believe there's a, there was a keypad there. And maybe we should look. Can we go upstairs? No. Can we go in this room? No. Let's look in the bedroom. Well, that's a creepy door sound. We can look at the window. And we can look under the bed, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Let's check the window. Oh, that's good. As you near the window for a closer look, someone or something pushes you out. The bedroom is on the ground floor, so in a normal house you would have only fallen a few feet. But this is no normal house. You fall and fall endlessly until finally after three days you die from dehydration. <laughs> Start from the bedroom. Okay, I think all we can do is look under the bed. You look under the bed and see something scratched into the wood floor. What could it mean? Lies. It's just lies. That's all. It's written here. Oh, if there was only a number of some kind. But it's just lies. So yeah, by now you've probably figured it out. If you flip it upside down, it's actually 5317. Probably not the first person to come up with that, but I thought it was neat at the time. Okay, so now we have uh, the code. And we can go back to the bust, click on the eye, go back to the room, hit the keypad, 5317. That's it, the door is unlocked. Whew, that was close. You've escaped the closing walls only to find yourself in a dark room. Now, if that didn't scare the shit out of my nephew, nothing would. There must. Oh! And we're on a timer. You're eaten alive by a very ugly, very large, and very hungry evil thing. Sad. 5317. Okay, so we have to locate something in this room. I don't remember where it is. Show me a finger, please. There it is. Okay. Start from control panel, 5317. Wow, this is a terrible place to restart. And it was right here. Click. Okay. Light switch. Awesome. So this is a scary picture that uh, that was on the internet. I don't know if it's real torture chamber or like somebody's idea of a Halloween gag, but the light must have scared away whatever was growling. Good. You are standing in a torture chamber. There appears to be no exit. Okay, so there's obviously something here, this black border outline thing. And have you noticed the hammer on the windowsill? Kind of like a uh, hidden objects game, but done very poorly. You find a common hammer. Well, let's hammer some things. Enter dark tunnel. This next part was a pain in the ass to make. You have crawled into the ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, it is infested with gigantic rats. You also notice the walls of the shaft are covered in small spiny bars. Be careful. Hint, guide the tip of your mouse pointer through the shafts towards the exit. 
use the hammer icon to kill the rats. So yeah, this is pretty much just don't touch the wall with your mouse pointer. And I think the rats, rats should kill me. They are not. Oh, there we go. The rat has bitten a large chunk from your arm. You hope it wasn't poisonous. You feel pukey sick. <laughs> okay, so don't touch the rats. We get that terrifying scream. And this doesn't work. I guess we're going to have to go back and load a, a version that works. Here we go. I found a version that actually plays the white zombie. Awesome. Okay, I will uh, quickly get back to where we were. Alright, here we go. Does this work now? Oh, I think I changed the, the font color there. Oh, and I also made the, if you look up at the top left, I also made the secret, how to get outside the vents, I made that darker. There we go. That's why I was working on it. I guess it was broken. Okay, so we can get... Maybe I can show you the, uh, the uh, Easter egg if I'm skilled enough. Oops. So when am I supposed to go for that one? I guess when he's back here. Okay, that guy's not dead, so that's not going to work. Oh, I've got to go hit that other hammer, duh. Do these even kill me? Okay, none of these kill me, so... <laughs> so I guess I never quite finished uh, this part. Okay, the rats kill me, that's it. Well, that's good. So, showing you my broken game. Again, you can skip out. This time I added music to let the player know, hey, you found something secret. Oh, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> you made it. You lost a few chunks of flesh to those rat bastards, and your hammer was destroyed, but you made it. As you exit, you hear the vent shaft collapse upon itself. The rats must have chewed their way to an early grave. You are standing in a tall cement room of some kind. The handhold is just out of reach. You can see the sun at the top. Could this nightmare finally be at an end? You just have to find your way to climb out. Did I add more fake handholds? Just to torture the player. What in the... What is that awful noise? Someone is covering the entrance up with a giant stone slab! Not like we could crawl out if we wanted to. So I guess your instinct would be to look for some kind of like foothold or hand grab to get out of here. But Help! There's someone down here! I'm gonna be stuck! That's cool how the light changes. I'll die if you do this, you deaf, dumb son of a... You can see the faint outline of the giant stone slab that is now blocking your only path out. You struggle to hold back your tears when you hear growling again. Nice. <laughs> Luckily, the man in black is here to save us. We have stepped through blah blah blah. Oh, I, I did something different here. I, I recall this now. Uh, my solution to the text overwriting itself was to add the uh, text in different locations on the screen. Where am I? Who are you? Whoa, why did it do that? Okay. I'm a trapped spirit. A long time ago, I lived in the mansion. You are now... Okay, can we go back? I don't want to screw this up, but... Uh, you are now trapped in. You'll end up like me if you cannot escape. I wish the text would stay there longer. Why are you helping me? You are my only hope of leaving this accursed plane. That, and I feel a kinship with you. Uh, how do I escape? Oh yeah, that's right. Jump scare for my ten-year-old nephew. You must free me. Uh, how do I get out of the place? Okay, okay, but how do I free you? You must locate the manipulator and destroy him. It is he that has trapped us here. He is the essence of evil and tricky, too. How do I get out of this place? I can't send you back to the mansion from this plane, but I can help you get closer. I'll open another portal to an intermediate plane from which you can return. Oh, the, the text stays there longer. That's good. An intermediate plane. I see. You do not need to understand this idea for it to work. How do I get back to the mansion from there? Any way you can. You will be fine. You are of blank blood. 
let me know when you are ready to leave. And then this button pops up. So again, when I say blank, that's just my last name and my nephew's last name. Okay, I'm ready. Good luck. Nice. It worked. Yay. You step out of the portal into a lush, colorful world. This place is beautiful. Too bad you can't just stay here. There's a very comfortable looking gold bench inviting you to sit and rest. Hey, why not just stay here? Why leave? You're tired? Sit a while. The mansion is awful and you just need to rest. I think I'm most proud of this part here. Actually, the boss battle is I'm pretty proud of at the end. I needed something epic, but I just really like this background image and uh, not to toot my own horn, but there's actually some animation going on here. So, we need a rest. Let's, let's sit in this bench. Can we touch the screen at all? All we can do is click the bench. I will click the bench. It's a bench button. You sit down on the bench and cannot fight the feeling of sleep. That's our eyes closing. It is the most comfortable bench you've ever sat on. What the hell was that? Your eyes begin to close. You can't keep them open. Alright, well we should just go to sleep then, right? Oh no, we died. I bet nobody saw that coming. You can't keep your eyes open. You can keep your eyes open no longer. You take a nap on the bench. You sleep for a long time. In fact, you never wake up. <laughs> Start from the intermediate plane. I'm not sure if that's how you abbreviate intermediate. I think that's how you abbreviate intelligence. All right, the bench is bad. You sit down on the bench, cannot find it feeling asleep. Okay, I noticed something here on the branches. Beautiful texturing. Looks just like wood. Um, okay, we're probably on a timer, so let's click up. Oh, how neat. Little flying dragons that I just stole from somewhere on Google. You force yourself to stand up from the bench and feel less tired. The bench seems to call your name. You fight the feeling to rest on it again. Small flying creatures have gathered in this area. Bugs? Bats? What are they? You hope they're not dangerous. Speak to me, bats! Blitz! Wapak! Dops! Will they just repeat that? Can I click on them? Oh, he flies around! Hello, my little flying, glowing bug things that look like dragons, kind of. Okay, do they each make the same sound? That's different. That's different. Alright, the little one has the highest pitched one. And uh, let's speak to him again. Okay, Blitzy, Wapaki, and Dopsy. Okay, maybe that's their name. Obviously, we don't understand their language. Uh, we have to feel around on the map, and we've run across a tree branch. What does this tree branch do? Ooh, a secret panel of some kind. Can we sit on the bench still now? We can. All right, let's go back to the control panel. Hidden control panel, but it's no longer hidden. You've discovered a hidden control panel, or at least you think it's a control panel. But how does it work and what does it do? Well, let's press this silvery dragon button and see what it does. Ooh, a shapes game. Find the cross. Well, that's a start. Now what? Okay, I see. Red. Let's, let's do all red. So the next should be... Oh, that was wrong. Okay, so do we have to hit back? I made the user use the back button. Okay, let's go back again. Now, I think I remember... I'll give you guys a second to figure it out, or you can pause it. But it has to do with these little flying dragons, believe it or not. Have you figured it out? It's the shape that they're flying in. It's their fly pattern. Brilliant! Circle. Circle. Wait. Is that what it is? No, I don't remember. I think... Yeah, that one flies in a triangle, and it's red. That one flies in a circle, and it's green, and this doesn't really look like a square. Though I suppose it is. Maybe it's a rectangle. 
I don't know what in the hell shape that is, but it's blue. We're going to say square or rectangle. All right, let's try it again. Hello, secret control panel. Yes, please open, dragon machine. Shit, what was it again? A blue square. There's no rectangle, so it has to be square. A green circle. And a red triangle. Got it! Oh, that's pretty neat. I, that wasn't in the original game, so I added that. See? Blue, green, red. And then there are fly patterns, too. Got it! Those flying things were trying to help. Oh, there goes the bench. All right. Well, we're out of the intermediate plane. See ya! Okay. You follow the cursed gold bench into a plane filled with portals. They are flying through some kind of plasma matter. You can't just pick one at random. Who knows where it'll lead you? You must get back to the mansion, but which portal is the right one? Well, the one that looks like the mansion, which is, I think, this one moving around in the background, glowing kind of red and blue. Blue border. Let's see. Let's see if we can grab it. Where do we grab it at? I think we can grab it right here. Got it. The other ones just kill you, I believe. Can I hit escape and go back? Oh. Let's just take ourselves back to this screen. Start from this slide. Got it. Those flying things were trying to help. And the bench goes bye-bye and we follow it. Hey, the music started. I don't know if I could do this twice. Actually, let's click on some of these other ones and see how we die. You feel good about your choice until you exit the portal, falling miles above some strange world. Love how the music's still playing. Before you can hit the ground, your body begins to disintegrate. Your last thought is wondering which will be more painful, falling miles only to smash your bones upon some rocky surface, or disintegrating. You choose disintegrating. Disintegrating is definitely worse! Start from Mass Portal. I think there's only one death screen, no matter which area you pick. Though it would have been kind of cool to... <laughs> the bench is flying around. Would have been kind of cool to uh, put a, you know, secret in here where if the user got the correct portal, they maybe advance to a, an area that you can only get to through this screen. But anyways, hopes and dreams. Okay, let's go back to the mansion. Here. I missed it. There. Got it. You're back in the hallway. The bedroom door is now locked. The trap room door is sealed shut. Time to track down this manipulator and get out of here. But I want to go back in the bedroom. I want to go back to the trap room. Okay, we can go right or stairs. We can no longer click on anything in here, so... Let's go to the stairs. A strange green mist blocks your path. It is strange indeed. Okay, well, let's go right then. Kitchen. You are in an old-style kitchen. There are many kitchen utensils here. Well, that's a good place for them. The smell of roast duck and Windex <laughs> wafts through the air. Wafts. You think to yourself, this room could use a large frame picture of a headless pig split down the middle. Oh, wait, it's got one. Okay, we can click on that scroll thing, this book here, this pan, this pan, or bowl. Okay, what's this? Let's click here. Oh, now I'm writing on the screen. A copper pot. A copper pot. Written in terrible yellow font that you can barely read. Why would I do that? I should have put like a black and white cut overlay on this screen so that you could the font would stand out. Anyways, what does this do? Just makes a clinking noise. Okay, so the book. What is this? An ancient tome. I love cryptograms, always have. You open the large dusty book, it is written in ancient text. These may be some type of recipes, as the only bit you can make out are the measurements for something. There must be a way to translate this. Okay, so... Go back and go to the book. No, go to the scroll. Here's our key. A strange scroll. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. 
So this is a P, this is an A. Wow, the A's not different at all, is it? That's a C, that's the K is the same too. The Y's and the M's pretty similar. Wow, I didn't I didn't pick the hardest cipher, did I? In the far corner of the kitchen, hanging on the stone wall is a scroll. What a strange sentence. You can't make out what the other one says. It looks like ancient writing of some type. You can't make out what the other one says. The other scroll. Oh, what a strange sentence. Okay, the other sentence. All right, so now we know that the A, the X, the K, most of the letters are similar to what they should be, but this one is an L. This one that kind of looks like an A is an L. Liquor. And uh, this one that looks like a triangle is a D. I think that's all we really need to remember. All right, so what does this spell? This is uh, one quarter. Well, we don't know which one we need to make. Uh, I think this is mist remover. And this is uh, mirror cleaner. <laughs> I don't know what my big trip was with Windex, but <laughs> uh, it said the room smelled like Windex. And now there's mirror cleaner here. So, I don't know if you could actually create this one with the recipe. I think it was just there for a joke, because the the book has two pages. The, the image has two pages, so I needed something here. So, a quarter bottle of bat brains. A half bottle of... Uh, that's a D. Dragon blood. One bottle of... Fuck, what was that one? That's an S. Okay, um, magic sand, I think that might be. Uh, no, that's not an M. What did we say? It was an L. Lava sand or something? And one quarter bottle of magic glass, I believe. Let's go see if we can figure it out. It goes quarter, half, one, quarter. Alright, let's start mixing up the ingredients. A copper pot. Why did I feel the need to let the player know that there's a copper pot here? Alright. Okay, that doesn't do it. Uh, how do I... Oh, okay, we have to click here. That's right. All right, mixing station. Unicorn poop, that's good. Dragon blood, magic dust, bat brains, lava sand, uh, potion number nine, ogre plasma, candy corn, Windex, gotta have your Windex. Spider legs. Okay, there are several bottles of rare and magical ingredients here. This looks like a good place to mix a potion. So the only reason I remember this is I tested it for days. Uh, and we just went and had a little refresher, but choose the first ingredient. It was a quarter, it goes quarter, half, one, and then quarter again. So a quarter, oh, I have to choose the first ingredient. Uh, I believe it was bat brains. Bat brains, please, how much? Uh, one quarter, please. Oh, there it is, bat brains in the pot. Second ingredient was, ah, uh, shit, dragon blood? I think it was dragon blood. Uh, half, half of cup. Are they cups? What are they? Choose the third ingredient. Lava sand. And that was a full cup. And then uh, a quarter of magic glass. Mix it up. I should have showed you what happened if you mixed incorrectly. I'll go back. Magic sparks fly about as you stir the mix together. You think you follow the directions closely? Whew, no explosion. That's a good sign. The potion glows with a greenish hue. You pour your mix into a bottle. Nice. Now we have magic mist remover. Now I'll go back and show you what happens if you get it wrong. Killed the music on us. But that's okay. We're just going to mix up some crazy stuff. You decide to mix the ingredients you have so carefully. You decide to mix the ingredients you have so carefully chosen. You realize something isn't right when the spoon bursts into blue flames and you smell burning eggs. You have no time to run before the mixing bowl explodes and sends white hot shrapnel into your flesh at a very high rate of speed. You wish you would have paid better attention in home ec. Now the music should start when we enter this room here. Nope. That's okay. You hear the kitchen door locked behind you. The green mist still blocks your path. Not after I use this! Awesome! 
Let's head upstairs. There's nowhere else to go and nothing else to do. I should have left that. Why, Kyla? Why? Actually, when the player came back, I should make it say, I understand now, Kyla. I understand. We were looking down a long hallway. This part sucks. It's a maze. But it's the same picture over and over. So, oh. We can walk back downstairs. Or we can go back upstairs. A long hallway. Okay, let's go right. Forward. You feel you're going in circles. Right. Left. Forward. Right. Left. Left again, forward, right, right, forward, forward. Ooh, no. You're still looking, I should say, you are still looking down the long hallway. No. Okay. Right, right. Oh, shit, I found it and then accidentally entered the cluttered room. You stumble across a room filled with junk. Well, the first thing to click would be this. Collector list. Another brilliant image drawn by me. Well... Had to steal the scroll background. Let's see, you find an old scroll. Someone or something has tried to cover the writing. Is that blood? This could be important. Awesome blood graphics. Sponge, penny, letter M, deck of cards, candle, map, coffin. Okay, that's what we have to find in the collector's list. Oh, it just changed. That was a mess up there. Did you see that? Okay, sponge is the first thing. Now, the second thing I saw it was a penny, and then it said a map. Oh, there's the penny. That's not a penny. I don't know what the hell that is. That's just a knot in the wood. The letter M. And um, by now, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell? Why am I finding these things? Who knows? Just for fun. Oh, the deck of cards, I think, is hidden well. Hmm? On the t-shirt of ducks, or... I think those are ducks. I don't know. They're ducks to me. And these do nothing. Except click. And now... What was the next thing? Okay, it's apparent. A candle. That's hidden well. This bowl, this wicker basket actually looks like it's been pasted here. But nope, that's part of the picture. Crazy picture. And you find a calming candle. Um, oh, I see the map. Do you see the map? Where's the map? Huh? A mysterious map. I was being very illiterate that day. What else do we need? Oh, the coffin. The coffin's kind of hidden well, actually. Huh? Right there. A creaky coffin, and that's everything. One, two, three, four, seven items. So, let's get out of here. Whoa, what the fuck is this? You exit the junk room and immediately hear a strange buzzing sound. There is some type of energy wall here. It's breathing in and out, almost like it's alive. Okay. Hello, wall. Hello, thing that's alive and breathing. We'll click your eye. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. Wow. Who's doing that voice acting? It's amazing. Um, how about the letter M? Conveniently, we have an M with us, so we'll pick this one. Oh, okay, it wants us to click him again. What is place on the table, table, cut, cut, never eat, never eat. How about the letter M? I guess we should pick something else. <laughs> Deck of cards. Was that right? Thing? This holds water, 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 water. Um, a sponge. That's the map. Okay, continue. What has what has but no water, water. Forests, but no trees. Cities, but no buildings. 
Hmm, could it be the letter M? You answered incorrectly and the blue wall did not like it. A very hot, very precise laser beam shoots out of the eye of the wall and decapitates you. Use your head and you may not lose your head. Oh, so good. I think you also die if you walk forward. Even though the wall is pulsing with unknown blue energy, you decide to progress through it. Your bones turn to ash, but strangely the energy does not harm your skin. You flop to the ground like a busted water balloon. You have no bones, but are still alive. The pain is terrible. If only you could crawl to the toilet to flush yourself down the drain. Wow, is this even appropriate for a ten-year-old? Ten-year-olds nowadays would even be phased by it. But back in 2013, things were different. Why does this say long hallway? This should say blue wall. Map. That's, I wonder why the picture is different there. Coffin. Spooky. Don't worry, we're getting near the end here, finally. Uh, the only one we haven't picked yet. Candle. Is that it? One more. A penny. The blue wall of riddles has been destroyed. Your junk items transform into powerful weapons for battle. Oh, that's a grenade. That's a shield. That's a Uzi. That's a sword. That's a body armor of some type. Dynamite. And a rocket launcher. How can we lose? Time to take care of this manipulator and get back home. I sense a boss battle coming. Hmm? The music stopped. That was awesome music. But we have to go forward. One last step. Let's take it. Oh, she's pretty. This is the door which leads to the manipulator. Before you enter, brave soul, know this. Oh! She got ugly real fast. No one has ever defeated him in battle. Okay. Well, that's about to change. I don't know who she was. Just some image like randomly downloaded off the internet huh there's the symbol again the manipulator oh he looks like an evil fuck <laughs> oh he's shooting us oh that had to scare the shit out of him He said, fight me, make me stronger. Okay, how a little bazooka, pal? Did that do anything? All right, try, try some sword. Oh, wh what happened here? We took away his second life, but not his first one? Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, Uzi, eat this. We're not doing any damage to him. How about some dynamite? There we go. And he's shooting our balls with his laser. <laughs> okay, well. We died. <laughs> Finally found me, ah! All right, eat dynamite, eat bazooka, eat body armor. Do we get life back? Eat shield, eat sword, eat grenade. The manipulator seems to be nearly indestructible. 
You resort to using your grenade. You have made up your mind. You will sacrifice yourself to kill him. No, I just wanted to throw it. Unfortunately, as you pull the pin and are blown to bits, the last thing you see is the manipulator laughing at you, completely unharmed. You killed yourself for nothing. So there's no button here to start. Well, I guess it's here. It's just not showing up. That's another thing I need to fix. Now right, let's try again. Ooh. All right, so we got to try a different strategy, obviously. Our items aren't doing anything. So everything but the grenade was was doing something for us. So let's, uh, can we use dynamite and live? That actually hurts him. Okay, I think body armor. Okay, he's taking life away. All right, that just doesn't give us life back. How about shield? Let's time the shield when he shoots us. Oop, I completely missed. That was horrible. Yeah, we're losing life. We know we can't use the grenade. How about bazooka? All right, we have a sword. All right, how about a sword? I think we tried the sword. We tried the Uzi. Nothing works. <laughs> Welcome to my mansion from hell. He's going to kill us here. There goes our last life block. And uh, we're just going to wait. We're not going to click that. No, you're trying to manipulate me, you evil son of a bitch. Oh, we're getting a response. Oh, he's losing life. We're irritating the fuck out of him. <laughs> Shoot me, do something. I think we beat him. Let's go forward. As the manipulator shrieks and is dragged down to its hell abyss, your surroundings change. You are standing in front of a huge door. The shadowed man appears before you. He, he wasn't the bad guy. He was helping us. So you can't judge a book by its cover. Beautiful door. <laughs> You've done it. I am now free to leave this place and return to peace. Thank you. How did I beat the manipulator? I thought I died. He made you think you died. Brilliant. No one has ever defeated him in battle because they chose to do battle with him. Even your weapons were a trick to make you fight. Your faith is strong. He could not manipulate you. Oh, that must be where he gets his name. I see. Where will you go? I could not return to my previous life. Instead, I will become a protector of all my last name. Who must endure this curse? You have taught me much about faith. Yeah, I'm teaching you things now. You're welcome. How do I get out of here? Through this door behind me. Believe it or not. <laughs> Through this door behind me lies your freedom. Goodbye, my friend. Here we go. We've done it at last. The massive doors are open and the sun shines upon your face. Yes! You've done it! Gotta love this music, though. If this isn't victorious music, I don't know what the hell is. Oh, there's the image I used of my face. There's the image I used of my nephew, Bobo. 
Click on the triangle to enter the secret room. There is no cho- oh, here it is. I knew this blue and yellow triangle had something to do with the game. You see it at the intro screen, you see it on the boss battle, and you see it again here. I should just randomly put it through in random places throughout the game. Click on the triangle to enter the secret room. Here we go. Hey Kyler! If you're watching this, that means you beat the game and made it to the secret room. Yeah! In the secret room you can do tons of stuff. You can listen to music, you can watch videos, and even go to any room in the whole game that you want to play over. So I hope you enjoy it. It took me a long time to make, like two months. I had to teach myself this PowerPoint program, and then I had to design the game. I can teach you how to use PowerPoint, and then you can make your own games. So have a good time, Merry Christmas, and remember, share it with your sister. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, Kyler, <laughs> if you're watching this, that means you beat the game and made it to the secret room. Yeah! Okay, this is just going to play over and over. You can do tons of stuff. So, to let's go to the secret room. Wow, a secret room. There must be all kinds of secret stuff in here. That's what I should have said. I'm so thankful my nephew never held me to the promise of teaching him how to use PowerPoint. But uh, what I said was true. I actually did learn how to use PowerPoint by making a game. It's kind of a crash course, kind of a tough way to learn how to use a a program but it worked so we have a little warp here ancient texts treasures movies credits music and warp I think the warps supposed to be down here maybe I didn't finish this all right let's check out the music intro music by freesound.org oh that's my okay theme music pukey just for fun Wow. Credit music. Last Ninja level 6. Uh, manipulator tease. What is this? <laughs> Kyler can't shoot me. He's a big wussy. Blue Wall Diary excerpt. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sugar is sweet. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. Oh, the poor blue wall. He's very lonely. Okay, let's go back. I had a blast making this. Uh, a lot of this I remember, a lot of it I don't. Ancient texts. Vent shaft blueprint. One and two. Diary of a blue wall. Textus de mortis. Firstborn sons of my last name. Ancient Tome Translated. And what is this? Translating the Ancient Potion book is one of the harder puzzles in the game. I use the font symbols to make it look like an ancient text. There is no way to make the Mirror Cleaner recipe. I just added it to fill up the second page. And for humor, that's right. Remove ghostly images and streaks from any mirrored surfaces. Alright, that's neat. Uh, we're not going to look at that. That's just pictures of my family in there. Text is De Mortis. Ah, all the death sentences. There's only there's only ten death sentences. Diary of a Blue Wall. January 24th, 215. Hello, Diary. It's been forever since I've written in this thing. Sometimes I think it's stupid. I had only one adventurer come by today, and as usual, he was here to fight the manipulator. Just needed to get past me. Oh, look at me. I'm the manipulator. Everyone is here to see me and not you, because I'm so great. I can manipulate things. Ooh, big deal. I think the Blue Wall has some serious issues. These were a blast writing these, and I think my nephew got a kick out of them, too. And the vent shafts, blueprints. The green boxes are hyperlinks. When touched with your mouse pointer, it takes you to a death screen. That's right. I had to make these links invisible, or this puzzle would be too easy. And I haven't finished updating them in the latest version, so more stuff I have to do. And what is this one? This picture shows a hidden path marked in blue, though I change, later changed that to red. Look for it next time you play through the game. And um, warp to different rooms. Credits. I can't click on credits. That was never finished, I guess. Movies. Can we actually watch movies? Here's the game trailer. Will this work? No, this doesn't play. Okay, well, luckily I already showed you the trailer. That's broken. Treasures. 
Oh, I remember this. Yeah. That was a neat little surprise for my nephew. If he beat the game, I told him when I gave it to him, there was a hidden surprise at the end. 1,600 Microsoft points for the Xbox 360. <laughs> oh, wow. Call Nate when you see this message, and he will give you the code for 1,600 Microsoft points. That's a pretty cool present. None of the other boxes work. Oh, Color Crisis. That's right. One of the games I played that inspired me to make a PowerPoint game. Download and play Color Crisis PowerPoint game. And this one? And Santa's Gift Grab. Play a bonus game made by Underdrummer. Click the name to play. Santa's Gift Grab. By Underdrummer Design. Click anywhere to play. Now, there's supposed to be music here that's not playing, but that's probably good, because... Hey, there's a gift. We don't want to get a copyright. Gifts! Gifts! Brilliant! Okay, what are you dropping now? Oh, there's one. There's one. One more. Don't hold out on me! Wow, I could not click that fast enough. Okay, I guess you got to really jam. Oh, look at these tiny ones. Come on. Who, who's supposed to grab those? Alright, well, we did terrible. Now, do we get to open them? We do. Merry Christmas, add up your score, then open your presents. 200 points is the best. Oh, Gears of War, the first one. Wow, shows you when this game was made. Oh, that's a good sword for a 10-year-old boy. A real katana. Guitar Hero 3. Oh, a CD player. And the Connect. Wow, remember that? That was huge. I'm thinking about doing more of these, but we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching, guys. We've been hanging out with Under Drummer, the man who has never ever made a Minecraft video. Have a good one.